So come down here behind and below Exat <coughs> to the north side of this ridge that goes through the place. And I put a lot of work into clearing back here. Don't, don't look at anymore. This whole north side of this ridge is really nice. Really, really nice. Man, all this pretty grown up. Shady. Got some big trees. Property line goes right back behind that. What is that? Hickory. Oh, yeah. yeah. Behind that hickory. Back along here. And this whole zone is shady and rocky. Um, you can see over here, big piles of rocks. Also, kind of a big resource right around here on this north side. Big piles of rocks that uh, I can only assume were dragged out of that field. Because when we plowed that field, we didn't hit any rocks. So uh, that's a great aspect of that field for sure. Look at this beautiful hickory. All stumpy. Um, and at the same time, you got access to all these rocks. You go up here, it goes behind the Yom platform. Um, and there's just fucking rocks everywhere. Somebody put here. I don't know how well you can see this. Just rocks. Big, bouldery rocks. And right up here, uh, I wonder, am I close enough to it to get some video of it? Maybe. Yeah, I think it's right here. I haven't been here in a while. Back to this corner. There's this uh, cistern, rock cistern, right back here. No, this isn't it. Must be a little higher up. I don't know if I can get, get to it on video. But uh, it's on the other side of the property line here. And this piece of property, which is the one you come around, you like curve around the left side of it. I guess it's right side as you come in. Uh, it's a piece of shit and probably could be had real cheap. I would guess somewhere in the neighborhood of 10 acres. And it's pretty clear that somebody at some point, yeah, look at those rocks. Can you see those rocks? These are uh, big old boulders. Somebody at some point bulldozed the whole dang thing and was trying to make ponds for that beautiful creek that comes down around it. But somehow the ponds didn't work. Somehow the, the creek runs higher than the pond level. Which makes no freaking sense to me at all. It seems like you should be able to punch a hole in the creeks to fill up the ponds, but that isn't the way it is. So anyway, after they bulldozed it, apparently generations of people thought it was a good place to dump some trash. There's a bunch of trash over there. It's probably cheap land. Lots of opportunities there. Um, obviously it's got that creek. Um, and uh, the great thing about a piece of trash land, you can't do wrong by it. Everything you do is going to be an improvement when the land, when a piece of land is that trashed. For sure. Just go out and plant all the dang trees, all the dang anything you want. I mean, kudzu would be an improvement over the bare clay that's out there. There's a lot of trash still out there um, that uh, from older generations that's actually kind of useful. There's some big pieces of fence like uh, paddle panels and whatnot. Let's see, am I still recording? Yeah, good. Yeah, so this glade right here, this is what I call, I call them the glades. This would be the bottom glade, and then there's sort of a series of higher glades with, unfortunately, a lot of privet. Uh, but also a lot of beautiful trees. It's such It's a really nice, cool, it's the coolest place on the property, unless you got a tub full of spring water going. Which is one of the other things I wanted to mention about the spring water. When you got that kind of spring water, that was my siesta spot once I got it running in the summer because it's, it's hot out here in the summer. But you got that kind of water going, you just fill up a tub and just keep it running. Just let it overflow. I had a tub it just, you know, just in the inside of the forest. And I just, uh, I'd sit there and read from, you know, about 1 to 3 through uh, July and August. Um, but of course... There's so much water, you can do that with as many people as you got tubs for. Or build a pond. I would build a pond. I would build, I would so build some ponds. Oh, and I, one other thing I got, forgot to mention about 
the property uphill of us, I guess off to the west. Oh my God, that creek, like I was saying about the creek hike up there, is you, even above the limestone springs, there's all these pools, just natural pools from the water just falling off. All these waterfalls. Oh, oh. I've only been up that high a couple times. Both times it was just gorgeous, gorgeous. That would be a great place to go for a siesta if you could stand the hike on a summer day. Those natural pools, because they're way up there. And they like look out over the whole valley. Hmm. Let's see. I think, uh, yeah, um, this will be, this is the big fence field. Mm. I might come back and burn the shit down. It's pretty, I don't know. There's a lot of tinder there. Uh, I've burned it before and it's been all right. Sometimes it's a lot of work and sometimes it goes just right and sometimes it gets out of control. That looks like a lot of tinder. Um, it's a nice field though. Flat, no rocks, good soil. Had goats on it for a few years, so it's got a little extra fertility. So yeah, this is the big field. This is, this is on the top three assets of this uh, land, I would say. Water. Let's just keep it in a big category. Water. There's a lot of water. And then uh, good soil. South facing slope. I don't know. Something like that. Top three is hard to do, I guess. Water. Water's number one. South facing slope. Privacy. It's at the end of the road. Secluded. Lots of room. Cheap land. Stuff loves to grow here. Oh man, just grow and grow and grow.